Raquel, second place on the first stage here at the Euro Tour uh, Women. Um, how does it feel? Uh, I'm super happy. My teammates have made a really amazing job and I'm so proud to at least finish off uh, in my best way what they have done. So I'm so happy. You changed the team and actually you should have been the lead out rider here for the woman who won on this finishing straight last year. Then three days before the race you learn, okay, she's sick, so I'm the sprinter now. Um, what went through your mind in the last days? Yeah, it was so sad uh, Monday I read the um, uh, message that uh, Charlotte uh, sent to us about her sickness. So it was pretty sad because we have uh, worked a lot this winter for, um, made, uh, yeah, for being ready for this race. Uh, so yeah, it was a bit sad, but in the same time uh, we spoke with the team and we say, okay, we keep uh, try to make a, a good lead out anyway and training for, for that. So at least I'm super happy to show that we are ready for made a perfect lead out at least for Charlotte for next, uh, next race together. So I'm curious what we will do together with uh, Charlotte when we will be with us. How much of a relief is it also for you personally um, to, to finally get this result at world level? Yeah, it's something amazing, like it was not well, what I was here for at least, but uh, it's really nice to show everyone, but at least first for myself that I'm there and I can uh, fight for the victory. Uh, that's so, so important for me and at least that show that with the team you can do a lot, so it's nice to to show everyone that uh, as a team we, yeah, we are able to, to do it even if I'm not the first sprinter of the, the team. And can you tell me how exactly you did it? Can you talk us a little through the sprint, through the last kilometer? Yeah, at least uh, everyone made a really good job. Uh, Elise crashed, so we were a bit scary for her, but she was able to come back, but uh, the speed was high. So in the last uh, kilometer I was uh, still uh, uh, with um, Pfeiffer, so she led me really well. She were in the uh, wheel of uh, SD Works, so I have just to start. I don't know exactly when I start the sprint, I just feel the moment and I just try to give my all myself to, to the finish line. So I think they, they were really good to keep me safe and yeah, until uh, my start of the sprint. So I don't know, I'm super, super happy. I had no word to describe how, how much happy I am. And I guess even more you're looking forward now to the next uh, two possible sprint stages with some wind tomorrow. Yeah, for sure we know that we can uh, be in the sprint, of course. And I think we will try to analyze the sprint tonight and try to make a better one tomorrow. So we never know. We have seen that um, uh, Lorena is strong, of course. But uh, we are also strong, uh, so at I think it's a, a lot of confidence that oh, maybe also Charlotte are uh, watching from home and she, I think she's excited to, to, see, to be with us soon in the next race, and next echelon at least, and lead out. She should definitely be. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.